Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we will solve the second question that is from the company LinkedIn and it's regarding data science skills. Now, before we look at this question, there is a very small announcement that I wanted to make. Thanks to all our viewers, we have recently crossed 1K subscribers on our channel. And what we are doing is as a token of appreciation, we are giving away three branded merchandise to three lucky subscribers. Now to participate, all you have to do is just follow these three steps. So you can watch any video on our channel and watch it fully, like and leave a comment on the, that video. And we have included a link to our LinkedIn page. So just go ahead and follow our LinkedIn page as well. And we will announce the winners on July 1st next month. All right. So this is what you can do. You can find these instructions under the community tab on our YouTube page. So without further delay, let me go back and help you solve the LinkedIn question. All right. So if you are new to this channel, uh, we have recently started the series of solving data lemur questions. You can follow this link and uh, the category is SQL under easy. Okay. So the second question is from LinkedIn. Let me go ahead and click on it. All right. Now let's read the question. The question says, uh, given a table of candidates and their skills, you are tasked with finding the candidates best suited for an open data science job. You want to find candidates who are proficient in Python, Tableau and PostgreSQL. All right. So these are the three skills that the candidate should have. And it says write a query to list the candidates who possess all of the required skills. All right. And then you need to sort the output by candidate ID in ascending order. Now, sounds fairly simple. All you have to do is just look at the input table first. So the input table can be like this. Okay. So I understand that there are no repetitions like one, two, three and Python are not repeated again in this uh, table as a combination. So you have the same candidate one, two, three with three different skills. So this candidate qualifies. Now let's see if there is any other candidate. 234 has three skills, but uh, it does not have the relevant skill. All right. So it should be Python, Tableau and Postgres SQL. All right. So how do we find this? Now data lemur uh, lets you be the solution and discussion also. But before that, let's try it on our own. OK, so on the right, I have my editor. Let me just go ahead and start typing my queries. So the first thing that we need is obviously candidate ID and probably on the right, we may want to find uh, what is the total number of skills or, you know, if the skills are Python, Tableau or Postgres. So let me try doing this. I'm going to say select candidate ID. If you are not able to see it, let me just zoom in. Okay, I hope this helps. So select candidate ID. From where are we selecting is the table. What is the table name? The table name is candidates. Okay, so I just copied it. All right, from candidates. Now, what is our condition? The condition is the candidate should possess all three skills that is python tableau and postgres all right so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to use a keyword that is usually used as a or keyword or you know when you have multiple conditions and you want to apply or condition to that so i'm going to say where skill skill is the name of your column all right where skill in now I'm going to use the in keyword and when I use in keyword, I have to use a bracket and within the bracket, I have to specify what all I'm looking at. So I want to say where skill should be in Python, Tableau and Postgres. Now you may wonder the in keyword, what it does is it checks whether your, the skill falls in any of these, uh, you know, any of these three items. If it even if it falls under Python, it will give you a uh, relevant output. But we will do something else towards the end of this query that will make sure that, you know, all these three skills are included. OK, so I'm just going to type in Python. Just be with me. 
tableau and what is the third one third one is postgresql okay now i have done this what i also want is i want to group my results by the candidate id itself because i may have the same candidate being repeated all right so i just want a single candidate to appear and along with that what i also want is i want it to display only the count so just read this query here it says select the candidate id from the candidates table where the skills are either in python tableau or postgres group them by the candidate id and the count of skills that is for each candidate id the count of skills should be 3 all right so so let let me just go ahead and run this query for you for now scroll down and run it let's see what happens you see 1 2 3 and 1 4 7 so the reason 1 2 3 and 1 4 7 are appearing is because only these two candidates have all three of these results okay now if i let's say if i don't put this condition here that is having let me comment it out so you can use two you know two hyphens to comment the code out in postgres let me run it now if you notice one two three four five almost all the candidates are appearing now okay so that's why we are filtering it using the count of skills because we know that no uh, rows are being repeated no combination of records are being repeated that's why you can use it directly like this okay and there was one more thing that was asked in the question sort the output of by candidate id in ascending order okay so uh, by default i think it's already showing us the ascending order let me run it again okay the ascending order but uh, if you want to put a clause there you can do it by you can use order by and say candidate underscore id go ahead and run this code scroll down this is your result now how do you check if this is correct or not before checking the solution just go ahead and click on submit and on the left if you notice it will give you accepted congrats okay so that means whatever code you wrote and whatever output you received is actually correct and is the expected output now if you want to see some different flavors of the solutions you can go to the discussion tab scroll down and you will find n number of solutions to the same problem the same problem can be done in multiple ways for example instead of using count here uh, you know probably i could have used a cte you know a common table expression and use the sum all right let's say if if a user has python i will put a column next to it which says one if uh, the user does not have python it will say zero just for ex example right so this is the easiest solution i would say to this particular problem you can check out the solution details the description and discussions also and make sure you submit it once you are done so that your uh, responses are recorded all right so that's about it that was the video i hope you enjoyed it and please don't forget about the giveaway so you have uh, 10 to 11 more days just go to our community tab read the instructions so thanks a lot for supporting us again and uh, you can be one of the lucky winners of the branded merchandise so thank you and take care have a very good week